Hey guys, uh, so I made a video shortly back about how I set up my canister filter. This video is me actually maintaining the canister filter, showing you what I do to clean it, how I clean it, uh, everything involved. So toothbrush, one of my big cleaning tools, chemicals in there, Boyd's Chemi Pure Elite. We also have our Roa Foss. and Purigen. Those are all going to be in there. We also have some activated carbon. I buy it off Amazon here in bulk. We also have ceramic biomedia, again bulk off Amazon, and filter pads, both fine and coarse filter pads. Uh, those are bought off Amazon as well. So Starting to disassemble the filter here. Take out my top filter here. You can see how dirty it is. Uh, that whole thing will be scrubbed up with the toothbrush. Again, uh, everything gets looking brand new before I'm done. Um, none of this will be left looking dirty at all. So then pull my filters out. So this is a two basket filter. The one of the video I did earlier was on a three basket filter, but this tank that it's on uh, is only 12 inches deep. A three basket filter would just create way too much flow deadheading against the front glass. So this is from a smaller uh, depth wise tank. I always suggest over rating your filter. So on like my 56 gallon, I have a three stage Rena, which is rated for 75 to 100 gallons um, on my 75 i had a four stage rena four baskets uh, so i always oversize except for this tank just because of the dimensions so again everything here is scrubbed with the toothbrush the inside of the the filter is being scrubbed um, get some of that water out scrub again um, I'm going to wipe it down with a paper towel here in a second. Everything's got to be cleaned to where the filter looks brand new every time. All right, so we're just getting the little last bits out here with the paper towel. I'll put some water in there and rinse it. And then I will... Uh, fill up my filter because I don't use two buckets. Uh, my filter is my second bucket. Uh, so I'll fill it up with uh, tank water. Again, all the water used in this whole video is tank water. I don't wash anything in RODI. I don't wash anything in fresh milk mixed salt water. It is all 100% tank water. You get the water from your tank. You're gonna be doing a water change anyway, so you're gonna be losing volume anyways use water from the tank do not use anything fresh to clean with you're going to clean with water from your tank only so i've refilled my filter here with water from the tank because uh, it's my second bucket to hold the clean water uh, but you can see here it is 100 percent clean it looks brand new looks like i just bought it doesn't matter if your filter is uh, a month old a year old three years old it should look brand new every time you clean it so here it is filled with water from the tank. I will scoop a little bit of that water out and I will put it into my bucket to clean. So now that I've got a couple scoops of water in the bucket to clean, I am going to take uh, my fine pad and start cleaning it. It's going to go in there and I'm going to squeeze it like a sponge, get all the gunk out of it, flip it over, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and you can see how nasty that water is turning. We're going to do this a couple times and we're going to get that sponge really clean.
All right, so you can see how dirty that water it is. I'm gonna dump it out. We're gonna add a couple more scoops of water here. And we're going to put that same filter back in and we're gonna repeat and get that, uh, continue cleaning that to make sure we get all the junk out of it. You can see how dirty the water there is with it sitting flat. And that's after the second time. It's already been cleaned once. That's after the second time. All right, so I did pause the video and uh, do another clean of the pad. Um, just to move the video along. This is gonna be my final clean. I'll show you what the water looks like here. Uh, much less dirty. This is where I will stop on this particular pad. I do have another fine pad to clean. Um, the water's still a little dirty, but it, it's where I will stop. I do have a the coarse pads to clean as well, so I'm doing that here. As you can see, the water will be a lot less dirty and murky. This is the first round of the coarse pad. Um, it will still go through a couple of rounds to get the water somewhat clean. Um, before I stop. Again, remember that murky water is not the bio load of your filter. That murky water is junk. It is what's going to create and build nitrates in your tank. That's why you want it out because you are using these filter pads to hold bio load, not leach nitrate. So this four week cleaning is very important. So then I take the basket here and I scrub the basket down with the toothbrush and then I will rinse the basket uh, in the bucket with that little bit of tank water um, you don't have to put fresh water every single time if you're just cleaning the basket here you can use dirty water to rinse off the basket the dirty water left over from your last filter uh, cleaning there or your last uh, pet filter pad that you cleaned out there that coarse one you can use the water left over from that but you do want to clean everything all the surfaces all the nooks and crannies again this is not your bio load you're cleaning out you are cleaning out the junk you are cleaning out the stuff that's going to build nitrates and you want that out because you don't want any nitrates in your tank so this again has to be cleaned like it is brand new of course, I'm going to pause it here in a second and scrub it with both hands. Um, you see it's been clean there. There's just a little bit of water in there. I'm spinning around, cleaning all surfaces of it, rinsing it off. Um, and then I'll give it here an inspection to make sure that I got it properly clean before I move on to the next item. All right, so here it is. All the filters put back in, reassembled. It looks brand new. Those filters look brand new. That does not mean bio loads out of them. The bio load is still there. You got all the junk out of them. All the junk that it's collected, all the filtering that it's done, you've removed all the junk so you don't build nitrates. It is still holding your bio load. So then I'm gonna take my ceramic media. I'm gonna put it in the bucket. Um, you'll notice that the water is still dirty. It is the water that I cleaned my last filter pad with. It is the water that I cleaned that bucket with. Because I'm not cleaning the, the ceramic medias, I am just tossing them around to get the junk off them. All I want to do is get all the junk off the outside of them. It's not a cleaning. It is a remove the debris.
All right, so now we're gonna clean the second basket. It was holding the media, so you can tell it's a lot dirtier. Um, so we're gonna scrub this one down here with the toothbrush, get it all nice and clean. Um, just kind of showing you how dirty this one actually is. Um, after four weeks of running in the tank, it can get it can get pretty dirty. There will be pieces on it, those little uh, white burr pieces. Um, and you can see there are sponge pieces. Uh, all those may require you to use your fingernail and pick them off. Um, the toothbrush doesn't necessarily get those little white burrs off. You have to pick them off with your fingernail. Um, as well as those little sponge pieces, it doesn't always get into the grate there as well as I would like it. Sometimes you need to get your fingernail and pick those off too. As you can see there, I'm kind of picking at it with my fingernail. Um, scrubbing everything down with the toothbrush again everything's got to be scrubbed it's got to get looking brand new you can see I'm picking at it there more with my fingernail a little white burr area picking that off with my fingernail getting it 100% clean Alright, so I've paused it, scrubbed everything down with my toothbrush, with my fingernail. You can see the difference. It looks very clean. Uh, all the nooks and crannies cleaned out, every surface scrubbed. Looking inside, look at all the crevices. Again, they've all been scrubbed. It should look brand new. Even those little corners there, you got to get down in them and really scrub them out. You see I missed a little bit there. I'll have to go back and get that. So Chemipure Elite, first uh, chemical here. Um, it's change time for this one for me, so I've taken the new one out of the package. I'm going to put it in the water, and it's just going to be a flip over once or twice in case there's anything on the outside of the bag. Uh, I want to get it off so it doesn't disperse into the tank. This is not a clean. Do not clean it. It's going to run black and yucky. Leave it. That's how it goes in the container. Do not rinse this one. Just knock whatever is on the outside out and put it in the filter. It is supposed to do that. Even at the next four weeks when you clean it, it's going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it in there, turn it over once or twice to knock off what's on the outside of the bag. I will not clean it. It's going to be running black. That's what it's supposed to do. So this is the Purigen. It's change time for me. You can see the color of it. That is nasty. That uh, has been used for three months. Um, if it had looked like that at two months, I would change it early. But it didn't look like that a month ago. Um, so three months is the max I go, whether it looks good or not, uh, but this does not look good. So it is it's definitely change time. You can see that is brand new Purigen right there. A um, little bit of a tan color to it, but drastic difference. That is ready to be changed out. So we don't want to put clean Purigen into a dirty bag. So we're going to take this bag and we're going to put it in the tank water and we're going to clean it. And yes, I am cleaning it in dirty tank water. I am just cleaning out the bag, uh, not uh, rinsing anything or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just cleaning out the bag. I'm putting it in there like it was the filter pad and I am scrubbing it with my hand, cleaning it with my hand. Um, I'll also turn the bag inside out here in a moment to make sure I clean out all the old Purigen from inside so it has a fresh start. All right, so here I am turning the bag inside out to continue the cleaning, get all the old Purigen out, all the dirt out of the filter. 
um, bag, make sure it is nice and clean um, for the fresh Purigen. If it was the old Purigen, it wasn't ready to be cleaned out. Again, every month I untie the bag, look at the color of the Purigen and decide whether to keep going or not. Um, if it looks like what I just showed you, it is time to change it. If you hit the three month mark and it doesn't look like that, it's still time to change it. Um, but you got to use a fine filter bag for this. Uh, this is the top fin filter bag from PetSmart. It is a fine filter bag. Uh, if you use anything that's not fine, the Puritan is just going to fall out of it. Um, I change my bags, I don't know, once every year, year and a half. I don't change them often. If it was a time where I wasn't changing the Puritan, I would tie the bag right back up. I would flop it around in the water a little bit to get the loose stuff off the outside of the bag and then put it back in the filter. So you can see the filter bag there is uh, pretty clean. Um, and I'm going to refill the Purigen. So here it is refilled. I use, that's a 250 milliliter um, container of Purigen. This 45 gallon tank, I use a third of it in third of the container each time. So it lasts me about nine months. So I filled it with Purigen, just flopping it around a couple times to make sure any Purigen I got on the outside of the bag doesn't go into the filter and go loose into the tank. Just squeezing out a little bit of the water there. And then I'm gonna flatten it out here because when I put it into the filter container, I want it to be able to have as much surface area with the Purigen in the bag as possible. All right, so the next here is the Roafos. You can see how little I use. It is just a little bit in the bottom of that bag. Um, so the Roafoss, I change every time I change the Purigen. Um, it, the, the media is black. It's kind of hard to tell if it's um, getting dirty or not. Basically, it's just whether the life is being used or not. Um, you can tell by if you've seen an increased algae growth in your tank, that means definitely change it time. But I just keep it on the same schedule as my Purigen. If I change my Purigen, I change this. If it's three months, great. If it's two months, great. If whenever my Purigen is changed, this is changed. So you can see I took a scoop there of it. I use three scoops. Um, I use three scoops in my 45 here. In my 56, I use three scoops as well. Even though that's a three-stage filter, it's still the same amount. Um, my old 75, I used four scoops but it's not a, a exact measurement it's a plastic spoon there i just i take a scoop um you can see it was a big scoop mounted over um so i put this put the purigen in and i'm gonna rinse it in tank water it is a quick rinse just like the um chemi pure um you're not cleaning it just a quick rinse it's gonna come out black red that's fine that's what you want leave it Put it in the filter like that i'm just knocking stuff off the outside of the bag so here we're moving on to activated carbon so um i change this every every four weeks every time i open it it gets new activated carbon um so we got to clean that out and if you we're going to clean it to the point where if you've ever done activated carbon you can hear that sizzle when you put it in um, we want the sizzling to stop and then of course we want the water to not be black. So you can see there when I stopped, the water is not completely black. There's a little bit of blackness to it, but it, it's not just dark from all the dust from the carbon. We gotta get all that dust off. We don't want that dust blowing around in the tank. All right, so we're gonna reassemble everything here. I I reassembled this earlier, but I took it apart to show you guys. Coarse on the bottom, fine on top. Um, if you have uh, enough room, I do two courses, two fines. If you don't, if your filter doesn't allow it, I would do one course, two fines. The fine holds more um, bio load than the course does, so those are the ones that you want more of. If you can't put four and you can only put three, one course, two fines. 
So then we're gonna have our top basket here. In the top basket, uh, you're gonna see all the stuff kind of sandwiched in there. Um, the ceramic media, I do just free floating on the bottom. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You can put it in a bag, you can put it uh, off to the side, you can configure this differently. As long as all those components are represented, you're fine. Um, I just personally like it free floating on the bottom. So it, it's a choice. You can do whichever ever way you like, as long as all those components are represented. Um, I just happen to sandwich them in this way with the uh, ceramic media free floating on the bottom. It's just personal preference. As long as all those are in there, you're good. So again, this is reassembled, um, looks brand new. Um, you want it to look brand new every single time. Doesn't matter if it's a month old, year old, three years old, it's gotta look brand new every time. Um, this is what's gonna keep the nitrates down. Hope you enjoyed. If you have questions, let me know. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I will get more content out for you soon. Thanks.